Okay, guys, we're going to read our Krabby Crab book, and then you can also read along um, when you go into the Connect Ed, the Wonders online. And so you sign in and you look for um, where the little crab is. It'll be a little link that says read. And you're going to look for the book that's called We Can Play. But what you do is once it, it takes you to this book, you can push an arrow like right here and right there to turn the page. And you want to push the arrow backward so that it can take you back one, back two pages because that's the one that always starts the week. And I want you to read that today. It says, this week we're learning about good citizens and we're going to try to find out what is a good citizen. It says, what do good citizens do? Citizens are, are people who are, are people who live in a community. And so we all work together to, for the best, for, uh, to help each other out. So a good citizen um, are community workers, like firefighters and police officers they work together so that they can keep people safe and then um someone else may be a doctor and they take care of people and someone may be a teacher and they teach students and someone is a person who works at the grocery store and they sell um fruits and vegetables and so everyone works together so that a community in a city can can continue to uh grow and um be part of this good world so that everyone has everything that they need and safety and health. So we depend on good citizens to do the right choices so that we can all benefit. So if I teach and so if I teach students, then someone else will be the doctor and someone else will collect the garbage and someone else would cut, will cut the lawn. Everyone has an important role. So our job is also to be um, a good citizen and do our, our part. But your little kids, what can you do as a good citizen? So how are these children being good citizens? What are they doing? You know what? they're collecting recyclables so these are things that instead of going straight into the trash they can be recycled or reused and we'll be talking about being earth friendly pretty soon this week we're learning the letter i that makes the sound i because it has bossy e at the end I, long vowel I, because I says I, but it also says I when letter E is standing next to it and being bossy and saying, say your name, right? So we've got some words that have that I sound, b, I, k, bike, nine, tiger. And this one, let's see, he's right, right, d, I'm, dime, and a k, I, t, kite. Here we have some words, d, I'm, silent, m, mm, I'll, mile. First, you have to look. Is there a silent e right there? What is the silent E telling this vowel to say its name? So you say, oh, silent E. Okay, so I can't call that an I. I'm going to make that an I sound. So I go S I D side and no sound. Does it have a silent E? Yes, yes, it does. So you go P Ip. Oh, no, not P Ip. Pip. No, it's gonna make an I sound. P I P pipe. Does it have a silent E? Yes, it does. So we go wh I P wipe. 
and pine, pine. But without the saucy e, what does it say? P e n, pin. It makes a difference. One is a pine, like a pine tree, and one is pin, like a little pokey thing. The words of this week are going to be play and has. Mike and I play a game. My class has a pet. All right, so let's read. It's good reader time. Good readers read the title first. Number two, they use their fingers, they use their reader finger to point under the word. Number three, good readers look at the pictures and think, what's happening in the story? Number four, good readers reread. Number five, good readers know the characters in the story. And number six, good readers know the setting. Where is the story happening? What time is it? So here we go. And we have a lot of long vowel I. So you've got to, you've got to do a look. And when you see the bossy E, you say, oh, it's got to say the long I. So first you have to um, just browse and look at the word before you start making the sounds and you decide, does it have a bossy E there? Mm, I, k, Mike can I'd ride a red, red b I k bike. So on the word red, I came over here and I looked. Did it have a bossy e? No. So I I made the sound e, eh, a short vowel. E. Eh. Here we go. Then I look again. Eight, Kate. I can't call it a ah because there's a bossy e telling that vowel to say its name. Kate can ride ride a t an tan b i k bike. They or I'd ride in a bike, bike, lane, lane. So all of these sounds, they say their name when there's a bossy E there. Mike can ride a red bike. Kate can ride a tan bike. They ride in a bike lane. I'm starting to think about the characters. Who are the characters? What are their names? Where do I get my clues? Oh, well, I get my clues in the pictures and in the words. In the pictures, and what does it say? It says, do I know the name of the characters? Mike, Kate. Do we see the names of any other characters? I was able to figure out that clue. Mike, Mike is in a O I N line. Mike, Mike can can O at let it doesn't have a bossy e so i just have to say the short ah p ah m pam in p ah m i can't call it a because i can't call it pain because i doesn't have a bossy e there so i just have to say ah p am pam 
can g et get in the line line mike is in a line mike can let pam in pam can get in the line p am pam can l ick lick there's no i there's no bossy e there so i can't call this an i i gotta call it an i pam can lick a red pop pop no long vowels there mm, ike mike can l ick a lime lime there's no bossy E, so I have to call that ah. If there was an E there, I would call it pop, pop, but it's not, it's a pop. Hmm. Kate, Kate can g -et get a b -ig big k up cup. I wonder why Kate got a big cup. Hmm. Now I know three names, Pam, Mike, and Kate. Huh, do you know who has which, which um, pop? The red one, the lime one, or the cup? Mm, Ike, Mike has, ooh, that's the word of the week. A fine, fine, Red, red, b ike, bike. It is mine, 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 said Mike. I'm going to reread that with a character voice because I can see that there are some punctuation marks, which means that the character is speaking. It is mine, said Mike. But, but, am, can, take, take, a, ride, ride. But Pam can take a ride. I used a character voice again because there were quotation marks and there was an exclamation point which tells me that he was speaking loudly. Eight, Kate and Pam have. Oh, you know why I'm surprised? Because the word have, ha, ha, is not saying its name. It's supposed to say his name because bossy E is right there to say, to tell have, to say its name. So it should say ha, have, have, Kate and Pam have a kite. But it doesn't follow the rule. It doesn't listen. It doesn't care. English can be crazy. Oh, it can go up, up a mm, aisle. Kate and Pam have a kite. Oh, I want a kite. It can go up, up a mile. Mm, Ike, Mike, k and let it go up to. That word to was our word of the week like two weeks ago. And it means also like, m let's see if we can use the word also there. Mike can let it go up also. Oh yeah, it works. All right, cool. <sighs> right now when it's windy, I think I would like to have a kite. I just don't know where to get a good one. 
Costco sells them, but I don't go to the store very much right now because we're inside. Um, and they haven't been that great in the past. So if you know of a good kite that I can find somewhere, let me know. K eight. Kate and Pam. Pam. Play. Play. You see how Y makes an E sound there? Play. A. G. Aim. Game. They. Or un, run, a, or ought, lot. So it doesn't have a bossy e there to say lot. So it's lot. And k, ik, kick. The g aim is qu, i, t, qu. See, best friends, q and u. I, t, quite, f, un, fun. Kate and Pam play a game. They run a lot and kick. The game is quite fun. So we know that Pam and Kate are playing together. And we know that one is Pam, I think, is the one who had the big cup of ice cream. Pam, Pam can see Mike, Mike. You can play, said Pam. Oh, let's use a character voice here. You can play, said Pam. They have a fun time. Time. Have, again, a word that does not follow the rule. The end. All right, cool. Oh. What else? No, that's it for right now. I'm about to do another video for the Eid family. All right, guys, very good reading. Keep reading and then do the last. Um, there's like a, a, a little activity at the end of that book, I think. All right, bye.